I'm scared to go into my mom's bathroom because the floor looks like it would fall in if anything touched it. Anything happens, I can't do anything. Just stop it. I no help. Right now, we're traveling through Hattiesburg, Mississippi, nice. All right. on our way to meet the Heathcock family. It's Gina and her three kids, and Gina's husband, Sherman, is on his second tour of duty in Iraq as a National wow. Guardsman. Take a look at this tape, and you'll see why we're here. Sherman Heathcock's military career began during the first Gulf War, when he enlisted in the Army National Guard. After his term of service ended, Sherman began a career protecting their community by serving as Deputy Sheriff of Hattiesburg and a SWAT team leader. When you think about Sherman, you think of a man who has literally put his life on the line for everybody all the time, every day. And we rely on Sherman Heathcock to keep us safe. After the events of 9-11, Sherman felt a call to national duty once again and he re-enlisted in the National Guard. I'm very proud of my dad for all the things he does. He commands the rescue team, and he's keeping them safe, just like, just like he keeps all of us safe. It's a very scary situation for me, but I know that Sherman believes in what he's doing. I know he's making a difference, and I know that there are people that are safer because we're doing this. If we didn't have people like Sherman was willing to make sacrifice to put himself out there, where would our country be? While Sherman risked his life leading rescue missions in Iraq, Hurricane Katrina swept through Mississippi. Sherman couldn't get in touch with us for days. He didn't know where we were, if we were OK, if our house was still standing. There were trees all over our roofs. The structural damages were devastating. We used the insurance money we had, but we didn't have any extra money. And the damages to the house were so bad, and they just continued to snowball until it got out of control. And it's in the situation that it's in now. I'm Stead McCullough. I'm an architect in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I've walked through this house, and I've seen the damage that has been done to it as a result of Hurricane Katrina. The foundation on this house is cracked and is also causing the uh, interior floor to be unstable. This whole ceiling at any moment could fall down, and quite frankly, this is, this is a dangerous house to live in. I'm scared to go into my mom's bathroom because the floor looks like it would fall in if anything touched it. If anything happens, I can't do anything. Just stop it. <laughs> No help. I feel helpless because I don't know how to fix it. Wish more than anything, Sherman was here because when he's here, I know that everything's going to be okay. My wife didn't know she better. I hope she knows. I always think that's I've always done the best that I could. I wish I could. Take out the burden on his shoulders. And if anything, just some small part. So if you could help me, I would really, really be Wow. I have to say, um, for this guy to put himself in harm's way every single day for our country, he deserves the right to know that his family's going to be safe and at home. So what do you say? Can we do this? Yes. We're bringing in her people. Are you with me? We're with oh, you. Yeah. Well, then let's do it. So, I, I know we saw from your tape that obviously um, Sherman's over in Iraq. You He's got... here with me right now. Oh, is this his? Uh, do you carry this his... with you all the time? Yeah. My biggest worry is that he won't come home. Um, but besides that, I worry about 
keeping the house from falling in until he gets back. That's why I'm crying so much is because I know y'all are here and now he's gonna be able to come home and be a dad. Our men and women in uniform make phenomenal sacrifices for their country and they put themselves in harm's way every day. I think it's really important that we don't forget the husbands and the wives that stay behind and their children. I mean, they miss their loved ones overseas so much. And just to honor that sacrifice of service to their country, we can never forget that. My living room. What is this up here? I mean, is this, is this because a uh, leak caused by the trees? The water was coming in for a while before they could even get tarps up because the, the area was so devastated. I didn't even realize this. And that's right above electrical, too, which is even worse. Oh, my god, man. Right off the bat, you can see there are leaks in the ceiling that are gigantic. Once that kind of structural damage is done, it has a ripple effect on other parts of the house. The foundation in some parts is not only cracked and crumbling, but in some areas, it's just missing. You're dealing with something that has to be fixed from the ground up. Put the ball there. And... Oh, no way. Yeah. It goes over here. Not level. Not level. Completely not level. This is our kitchen. Not a lot in here works. <laughs> my wow. stove Look might be Look how old from this thing is. 1950. It doesn't work, but it's vintage. If this doesn't work, what do you use to cook it? I cook in this. You're this kidding me. I mean, that's a toaster oven. It is. Wow. Oh, 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 God! Oh, it's history! This is called cellulose insulation. It's made from wood fiber. Wood fiber. So it's recycled newspapers and phone books. And the bills in this house will be about 20 to 40 percent less than a conventional really? house. house for the first time in my wildest dreams I never could have imagined something so gorgeous and that old house now would just think how are we gonna fix this when is that house gonna finally collapse and who's gonna be inside of it when it does the new house it means so much to me because not only am I gonna be okay when he goes back I know that the house is not gonna fall down I don't have to worry about that it's beautiful it's just beautiful. family, it struck me right at the deepest core of my heart. In the old house, there were some numerous dangers, and what worried me the most was that one of my kids was going to get hurt. When I'm back in Iraq, I will imagine them enjoying this new house, and I know that I don't have to worry about it. Isn't that neat? Oh, look, guys. <laughs> It's your letter. <laughs> Look at the wallpaper. I love you so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you know what? This is me talking to you every day. <gasps> There's a fireplace in here. <laughs> when Sherman and I opened the door to our bedroom, 
It was like walking into a relaxation spa. When he comes home, we can spend so much time just relaxing in that room, and that means so much to both of us. Well, it matches the, the, the wallpaper. wallpaper. Oh. Did you see that? Did you write this while we were there? Dearest Gina, well, my love, the day has come to see our new home. Do you remember when we used to lay in bed and we would pretend that we could do anything and fix everything with the house? Thank you, sweetheart, for being so strong for so long. This is going to mean a new life for us. All my love, always and forever, Sherman. I love you. Thank you so much. When Sherman has to go back for the rest of this tour, that room is going to be a place where I can go and I can feel like I'm being embraced by him because everywhere I look, there's pieces of him there. So it's gonna be a comfort to me while he's gone.